celebrating summer with Good Day Live. Welcome back. We are so happy to kick off the week in Brazil with his honor, the mayor of Brazil, Brian Windham. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me, Julie. I appreciate that. Honestly, we appreciate your time uh, in kicking off this week. Mm -hmm. And in talking to you before we even started this show, you taught me things about Brazil I didn't even know. So much rich history in the city. Let me first of all talk about your park system mm -hmm. because Brazil is beautiful and there's so many things to do. You bet there are. We have a great park system there, uh, starting off with Forest Park. And as we mentioned earlier, the Brazil Concert Band has a uh, show every Sunday night that's free. Everybody can come over and, and enjoy that. They've been around since 1858, I believe. Mayor, I so, had uh, no idea. Yeah, it's, a, it's a, a great group that do a great job. But we have a lot of recreational facilities in Brazil. We have a Pete Design. Pete Dye Design Golf Course, sitting there, an 18-hole course. We have pickleball courts. We have tennis courts, basketball, frisbee golf. Uh, all those things are available right there at Forest Park. Uh, it's, it's a great place to take your kids and have a good time. We have a pool. Um, and some exciting things coming. We do. It's, uh, it's managed by the, the local YMCA, but we do have a splash park that you're going to see coming very soon, so we're excited about that. Uh, we're trying to do improvements all the time to our recreational facilities. Out at Craig Park, it's very different than mm -hmm. Forest Park out there. There's soccer fields. There's a girls' softball diamond. We have a lake. You can go fishing, take the kids. You can put boats on it, uh, non-motorized. Also, we have uh, camping available out there also. Mm -hmm. So we try to cover the bases, and, uh, but it's, uh, we want to do continue improvements on that to have plenty of things for people to do. And you know, when you talk about improvements, let's take us to the downtown area mm -hmm. and what a difference that has been made in a community that at this point, with people avoiding I-70, a lot yeah. of eyes are seeing now driving on US-40 through Brazil. Yeah, and, and we're the benefactors from that, to mm -hmm. be quite honest with you. It gives us uh, people, more people, a chance to see what's available here in our city. Uh, downtown's got a lot more curb appeal, I think, than it did at one time. Absolutely. Uh, we're getting more um, variety of restaurants, uh, shops, uh, more of the, what I'd call trendy type shops sure. that everybody likes to go to. So yeah, we're excited to see that and see that traffic flow that's happened. Well, and when you think about the number of people that pass through this historic community, and yeah. it is that along that important U.S. 40, there's a lot of rich history that comes with a city like Brazil, too. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's a uh, We've been around a long time, and uh, there is a lot of history, some good, some not <laughs> so good sometimes. But, you know, it, it is. Uh, it's a very historical city, and we're very proud to be there. And I know you're proud of your residents because mm -hmm. not only do you all embrace each other, but you embrace these people who travel through, and these businesses mm -hmm. continue to multiply. We're going to take people to some of these businesses later in the week. Sure. But I feel like every time I come through Brazil, I see something new, Mayor. Well, we have, uh, we have a great Main Street group, that, and when you see these community-driven projects, those are the ones that, that last a long time. For example, uh, our local Rotary Club, yep. for many, many years, they host the 4th of July celebration. And they have longevity when they're community-driven projects. And we're seeing a lot more of that. You know, we've got the cruise in coming up for long. Sure. I think that's October 1st. And that big Main um, Street event. The Main Street, US 40, 40 Fest. Yeah. That's really went over real well. And there again, those are all you know, driven by the people that live there, which is great to see. Well, I got to tell you something. I enjoyed my time last week getting yeah. all the stories gathered that we're going to yeah. be sharing this week. Yeah. And I thank you for coming on to kick off our week. Bo Boomer apparently is, is, yeah. is, is excited too. Boomer is excited to visit Brazil because we were hearing Boomer in the background. That's okay. You like dogs, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we do. Uh, actually, I'll get, if I get a chance here, in the second Saturday uh, in September, We've always done a mayor's ride and all in the local humane, humane shelter. Uh, all the money goes to that. Uh, we've been uh, doing very well with that. It raises typically in excess of $20,000, so we have a pretty good afternoon. And um, yep. like say, um, actually my uncle was uh, one of the charter members in 1957 that started the Humane Shelter. So well, then Boomer we, must must feel the sense with you, wanna, Mayor. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so. so we always want to support them. You well, know. we appreciate your time today. And as we go to break, we were kind of teasing the Mayor about yeah. Boomer, who we heard in the background. But this is Boomer.
Mayor, you, you're welcome to adopt Boomer. He's up for adoption today. When we come back, we're going to have details about how you could make this sweet pet a part of your family. Mayor, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Appreciate it.